Hey guys, this is Austin with Walton's TV, and welcome to Natural Casings 101 at waltonsinc.com. Natural casings are the oldest form of sausage casings. They're actually made from one of the layers of animal intestines, typically either a sheep or hog intestine. Sheep casings are the smaller of the two, and they range from about a 22 to a 28 millimeter, whereas a hog casing is typically about a 32 to a 42 millimeter. The 32-35 millimeter hog casing is our most popular uh, sausage casing we have. Uh, and you might ask, why is this a range? Why is it 32 to 35? And that's because unlike a collagen casing, which is manufactured, natural casings, being an animal product, is going to have some variances in size throughout the length of the intestine but the, those variances should always fall within that specified 32 to 35 millimeter range. If we look just at sheep casings then, uh, typically you'll, you'll use sheep casings for a breakfast sausage, uh, maybe hot dogs, frankfurters, or even a large diameter snack stick. Hog casings on the other hand, since they're a little larger, you'll use them for uh, smoked sausages like kielbasa or German sausage. And then if you're using, making fresh sausage, um, anything from a bratwurst to an Italian sausage. We have three different packaging types that the casings will come in. We have dry packs, we have tubed, and we have just your standard regular hank of casings. The dry packs are the smallest quantities that you can, you can get. Um, the lengths are a little more inconsistent than in our larger packs, um, but the price and the, the quantity convenience is uh, a lot nicer if you're doing small batches, anything 25 pounds or less. If we talk about the prep for the dry pack casings, uh, we have three steps we need to roll through. First, we need to rinse, then we need to soak, and then we need to flush the casings. When we rinse them, we're really just trying to get all the salt out of the casing. And then we need to soak them in some lukewarm water for about an hour. And then our final step is flushing them. And you can either do that in just a little bowl or you can do it in your kitchen sink and run water through them. Um, but you really just want to get some water in one end of the casing and run it through the entire other end just to flush out any remaining salt. Then if we look at the tubed casings, these actually come already pre-strung on individual plastic sleeves. Uh, compared to the dry packs or the regular hanks, on these two you have to individually thread each strand onto the stuffing horn. Whereas the tubed, they're already, they're already strung on one sleeve and you just slide that whole sleeve on and you're done and ready to go. They do come in a slightly higher price premium, but for the convenience, I think they're well worth it. Uh, they do come pre-flushed already, but you do still have that soak and that rinsing uh, period just like the dry packs. And again, soak them for about an hour in some lukewarm water. Then lastly, we talk about the regular or what people refer to as a hank of casing or just hog gut. The typical uh, package of hog casings uh, comes about 100 yards in a package. Uh, these do come pre-flushed, um, but just like the tubed and the dry pack, we still need to rinse and soak them and rinse them uh, and soak in that lukewarm water again for about an hour. Some of the unique features uh, to a natural casing is that curved shape. If you compare natural and collagen, collagen are, uh, most of them are straight, collagen do um, you can find some of them that come in a curved, um, but that traditional curved appearance, appearance to a sausage comes from a natural casing. Natural casings also have a very distinct bite and mouth feel compared to something like a collagen casing. Storage on any of our varieties um, can be upwards of one year, but it does vary since it's, a, since it's not a manufactured product and it's an animal product. Um, you should get about a year out of it though. Uh, keep them at about 40 degrees or so in your refrigerator, but don't freeze them as freezing them can actually damage the casing. If you don't use the whole package at one time, you can reseal the unused portion. Uh, if you can, return it to the original package and seal it, or at least the original brine solution. But if you don't have either, um, put it in a new package and seal it with, well, after you repack it with some salt. Some of the benefits to using natural casings is that you can get a very nice deep smoke penetration. Uh, again, with that curved shape, you get a very traditional appearance to your product, and the strength on a natural casing is very high, and it's also very elastic. And lastly, you just get that very traditional, familiar, familiar bite and mouthfeel that consumers are used to. 
When you stuff a natural casein and you twist link, make sure you don't overstuff it because as you twist each link, you're going to increase the firmness. So you can always throw an extra couple twists in there to firm, firm up the product a little bit more. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button below or share your uh, comments and thoughts in the comments section below. Uh, visit waltonsinc.com slash casings to view our entire casings product line. And with that, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching Natural Casings 101. I'm Austin with Walton's TV, and we'll see you next time.